Okay, so welcome to a new video. We have a 1.6 Miata engine here. It's already disassembled and that has a good reason because we are starting a new project and uh, it's more like an engine project, which I find pretty interesting. And the goal is to get, well, this is basically a stock 110 horsepower NB engine. So with solid lifters and a 1.6 and we want to get at least 160 horsepower out of it and this with only very simple and low cost mods kind of like the older american hot rod scene if you know videos from david weizard you pretty much know what i'm talking about because we want to do similar stuff to this engine and see how it is going to work the interesting thing about that the 1.6 engines in uh, the JDM market from the NB have 126 horsepower, so that's already 16 horsepower up from the 1.6 we got here. So that should probably be already a sign that they have some potential in them. And I know from experience that, and I know from experience that there are a lot of components that can help improve the power quite dramatically, such as intake, intake manifold, and especially compression and the head porting and uh, that's probably the most important stuff we'll have to do but we'll also do some other stuff such as modifying the crankshaft and not only modifying it in terms of well balancing it and uh, testing if it is straight no we are also going to cut some weight off of it um, we are not gonna do knife edging which can be good and can be bad but the problem is that you have so that you don't have any counterweights anymore or that the counterweights are kind kind of a little too light to compensate the big end and therefore the balance of the engine is imperfect after that so this this is why we're only going to do some minor weight cutting on the crankshaft which is still gonna let us probably some horsepower or at least some engine response. But we're also gonna do some weight reduction on the rods, the pistons, and we're obviously gonna do head work to increase performance, performance, which can help these engines do improve by about 10, 15 horsepower. We are going to regrind or let the cams get reground, which can be done relatively cheaply. And uh, yeah, that's, all in all, probably gonna net us around that 160 horsepower mark. The budget for all of this is around 1,000 to 1,500 euros. So it is gonna be very cheap and that includes all the machining and all the stuff that has to be done to the engine and all the parts such as new piston rings, um, getting the head resurfaced and cleaned and also some things if we need to get the um, camshaft journals optimized or the um, crankshaft journals that's a thing uh, we are going to look into later if the uh, crankshaft and camshafts turn freely because if there are some if they are bound up or anything that can also lead to horsepower loss because of friction and that's pretty much it why am i doing this because i don't really like na engines well I'm not gonna use this engine for anything probably I'm probably gonna sell it and uh, I'm just interested in what this engine can do with those kind of mods because um, yeah low budget is kind of a thing that I really like so this might be also really interesting for you or interesting for those people who want to do NA or naturally aspirated stuff I'm not gonna do ITBs obviously because those are out of the budget you could use bike ITBs, but they won't produce any more power. And the main thing is to get more power out of the engine so that the 1.6 isn't so anemic like the stock one is because, well, acceleration in that is pretty slow. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Let us know down in the comments if you've done something similar and maybe have some results as well you can tell, tell us because that would be really interesting. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to start with the next part soon regarding the crankshaft modifications. Ooh. 